Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you probably already read the title of this video. I have a few packages that I wanted to unbox with you guys. We haven't done an unboxing in a while, so I figure we can do that. Um, I have some PR here, and I have some stuff that I ordered. So I'll let you guys know which is which when I open it. Um, so, I'm just going to get started because it looks like it's going to be a lot. I have my blade with me, and I have some wipes in case I swipe anything, and I have some water so that I do not have a coughing fit like I did in my last video. Um, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel so you guys can see more videos. I have some unboxing playlists if you want to see some more videos like this. So the first box I'm going to open... This one is from Boxy Charm, and I actually already opened it because I love when I get my boxy and I want to know what's in it like right away. So I'm I'm always like super um, impatient with this one. So the theme this month is Boxy Charm Getaway, and the Boxy Charm it always comes with like a little card. It lets you know what's in there. It lets you know the prices on there. On the back is all the information. And if you guys are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, it's a monthly subscription. Uh, you get about four to five products, and they're always full size. And it's $21 a month. Um, they do have Boxy Lux, which I don't know the information on that because I'm not a part of that. I just get the regular Boxy, the $21 a month. And I don't know if you guys know it, but I do get this in PR. I don't pay the $21. Um, if I didn't get this in PR, I would definitely be subscribed to it. Um... I was paying for Sephora Playbox, which is $10 a month. I was paying for Ipsy, $10 a month. I was paying for Birchbox, $10 a month. And I canceled all of them because I was like, why am I spending my $10 when I'm getting this amazing box? So even if I wasn't on the BoxyCharm PR, I would definitely, the $21 is so worth it. Um, So this month they sent this No Problem um, Primer. And this is by the brand Touch and Soul. And I don't know if you guys saw my last shot, my stash, but I have the um, original primer that I just, um, I used all of April and May. And I love this primer a lot, so I'm kind of excited. Um, it doesn't say much about it. I didn't know about this. This says it's a prime essence. Um, it says, let your makeup stay a while with your new Touch and Soul Problem Prime Essence. Um, and it just says it tightens... Your pores, keeping your skin silky smooth. So you get a fluid ounce. And this retails for $23. And this is what it looks like. It's like a tube and it has a little applicator. So, oh, that totally just came straight out. So this is like very liquidy. I wasn't sure. Is this like a face primer? Like... I, I don't know why they would have another primer when they have that one, but it says Primer Essence, so maybe it's different, but I'll give that a try. I'm excited about it because I love the one I have. Next item in the box is a lip gloss by Dominique Cosmetics, and this, I believe it's from that, like, lemonade collection that they, that she has. Yeah, this is in the shade lemonade it says lemonade and I will swatch her since I brought my wipes and it's a gloss um that's what it looks like um the Dominique Cosmetics lemonade lip gloss says add hydration and shine fullness to your lips with this lightweight non-sticky balm and this retails for $17 the next item is by Tarte Cosmetics and it is the BU Naturally eyeshadow palette and this retails for $36 and it says you get four shimmers oh that's a pretty packaging it says you get four shimmers and four mattes. I don't know which light is giving this glare, but I don't mind turning them off. Because seriously, it's like 100 degrees in my beauty room. I'm so hot. So this is what it looks like. 
I'm to the point where I feel like all of these tart little circle palettes look the same. Like all of my Rainforest by the Sea look like this. So I don't even know. I'm not going to swatch it. I don't know if I'm even going to um, try and use this. I think I'm just going to either give it away or gift it or something, you know. Because I have like three Rainforest of the Seas and they all look the same. Um, and to be honest, the ones that I have... I haven't been using them because they're not very pigmented. Like the shimmers look prettier than they actually perform, so I don't know. Oh, um, did I say that retails for $36? The next item is this jelly highlighter by Steve Laurent, it says. I'm like such a bad angle. Let me see if I turn it maybe a little away from the light. Oh, that's not really helping. Um, this looks really pretty. Um, you can see my little, I did already like, because it's a jelly, so I was like, I wanted to fill it. Oh, can you guys see that? Let's see. But I think these like jelly ones, like you can see my end in, and I think it's supposed to like, it's like the putty ones, like they'll like come back, but whoa. That's some pigment right there. Oh, that is so... Oh, the texture's funny. It's like like slippery and wet. So that's the color of this one. This is pretty, actually. I really like that. Um, I have one other thing by this brand, Steve Laurent, and I think it's a lipstick. This retails for $26. It's kind of pricey, especially for if you're like me, a brand that I don't really know too much about so I'm just gonna wipe those two and then the last items in the box are we have um, a three pack of very antioxidant sheet mask by the brand Haru Haru and it's their wonder Mackey Berry Mackey Berry so these sheet masks, I think they retail for $9 each, or is it 3 for the trio pack? I'm not sure. It just says $9. Um, these say they provide your skin with antioxidants and anti-aging effects. So I'm excited. I love sheet masks, so I will definitely be trying those. I actually haven't done a sheet mask in a while, and I'm, my skin's like way overdue for one, so... I'll probably be trying it this weekend. So that is my box this month. Um, I think of everything in here, I'm excited about the Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss and the highlighter and the primer. The tar palette, eh, and we have to see about the sheet mask. So, but I mean, the the no touch the touch and sew primer is twenty three dollars right there, and I would have probably bought that. So I already got my money's worth with just one item. So it's like the other four items were completely free. It's a really good deal. Um, I always have in all of my videos my Boxy Charm link um, to sign up. I do get five dollars for every person that signs up. So if you do sign up, thank you in advance. It's like helping me, and at the same time you're getting an amazing deal. So. It's a win-win. Then the next package I have is by, um, it's from Derma E. And this is a brand that I've been um, working with for a few years now. I really like their products. So this is a PR package. And they sent over their scalp relief shampoo and conditioner and it looks like some hair bands that have their brand on your derma e um i haven't tried any of their hair stuff i usually use their uh, face stuff like i have face washes and face creams and i have a tea tree oil and what else do i use by them they have um, face wipes too. So I've only really dabbled in the skincare. I didn't even know they had hair products. So this is their scalp relief. This is the shampoo, the conditioner. It says it soothes dry scalps and dry irritated scalp, scalps. So I will test these out. 
Um, I did see a few people who also received this package who I guess they already tried it because they said they like it. So um, I do have an open shampoo and conditioner. I actually have two shampoos and two conditioners in my shower right now that I want to finish. So um, I will post a review on this on my Instagram. So if you guys are curious about this, just check out my Instagram page um so see my thoughts on that when I do use it thank you Derma E for that um the next package is from Ulta and this is a sh most likely obviously something I ordered that I have no idea what it is I like place so many orders throughout the week it's ridiculous um let's see Oh, I remember. Okay, it's only one thing in here. I ordered this Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. I have been wanting this for so long. Um, and I just kept saying, one of these days, one of these days, one of these days. And then I finally ordered it um, because I had a $350 off coupon, which BH Cosmetics, you can use the coupon. And I had some points. So I think the palette is probably like 20 something plus a $350 off. I get free shipping for being a platinum member and then I had I think like 10 or 11 dollars in points so I didn't pay that much um, this is what the inside of the palette looks like and all of these shades on the outside are baked shadows and these here are on the inside are matte shades and this in the middle is a highlighter a baked highlighter so I have seen so many um, like pictures of how pigmented this is so I couldn't take it anymore I was like I just need to get it like the baked colors stunning stunning so I had to um, where's my makeup wipe so I will definitely be posting this on my Instagram and I'll be using this soon because I love like shimmery shadows and all these baked shadows have a beautiful shimmer to them. The shade Virgo is like so pretty. It's like um coral kind of color, peachy color. And I feel like Virgo, Leo, and Cancer, these, this is like a super bronzy color and this is more gold. I feel like that would be like a pretty sunset kind of a look right there. I love it and I love Aries this like pinky color there that's so pretty and Scorpio is pretty I'm a Taurus uh, if you guys wanted to know and that's my shade there it's like a kind of like a burgundy wine colored shimmer it's really pretty so do you guys have this palette what do you guys think about it I love BH cosmetics they're super affordable and I don't know I just their stuff is so good I have a lot of VH actually I love my um collabs that they did with Carly Bible I have like one of their like festival kind of palettes that I enjoy so much so you can get BH cosmetics obviously that was from Ulta and then also on their website the next package is oh this is from my friends at Sol de Janeiro. And this is um, a PR package. Sol de Janeiro are the ones who make the Boom Boom cream that I'm always talking about because I love that stuff. It smells so good. Um, you guys will probably know who they are when you see like a little... That's sold de Janeiro. And their products are sold at Sephora. And it just says, Hola Vida. We hope you are boom boom soil old. We hope you love our bum. It's boom boom, but I always want to say bum bum, but it's boom boom. It says, we hope you will love our boom boom soil old as much as we do. Besos from the Sol de Janeiro team. P.S. Some bum bum for all your summer fun. Alright, let's see. Ooh. So they sent a little 
Boom Boom Cream, which is awesome because I just finished one, which you guys will see in my empties video if I can get it up anytime soon. And this is their newer Boom Boom Soil Oil. Soil oil. This has SPF 30 in it, which this is what it looks like if you guys probably seen the packaging. This looks amazing. I have not tried this yet. Um, and it is summer, so it's like right on time. Well, there was like, did I see that like floating? I'm like, ooh. So, this is illuminating sun protection oil. So you can see in there, like the little, like shimmer it has. So I wonder if this has, oh, so it comes out like an oil, duh, it's oil. Oh yes, it smells so good guys, oh my gosh, yes. So this feels really good already, I can feel I can tell right away if a oil is like super thick and it makes my skin already like feel heavy and like I'm going to be too hot wearing it. This feels very lightweight. So that's good because I'm very picky about wearing oils in the summer, especially in this heat that we get here, like in Chicago. Like it's like we have only cold and really, really hot. We don't have any in between like just like a nice cool day or warm day. No, it's like super hot or super cold here. So that feels really good. Not sticky at all. You guys see there's like nothing. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. So I'm definitely going to use that because I was watching the news the other day and they were talking about skin cancer and I don't need any of that. So I hope you guys are wearing your SPF. Make sure you guys do. So, thank you, Soul. Like, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about this, too. My pregnant tummy. This is why I've been finishing it. Um, I've been rubbing this all over my, my stomach, my boobies, like, my thighs. Like, whatever will help with... I know I'm not going to avoid stretch marks, but as little as possible. So, I'm keeping my body super moisturized with this stuff. So, I was using the big tub that they had sent, the biggie tub. And it's like halfway and I'm so sad. I'm like, no. And I finished a regular t tub too. So, um, let's open this four one because I know there's not a lot in there. This is a order I placed. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's not that. <laughs> I only place big orders from during the sales. Um, so I got some samples. Oh, look, I got the No Pore Blum Primer, Touch and Sauce. Um, and then I have a Bumble and Bub Bumble and Bumble BB Curl. I remember choosing this because I have curly hair and I wanted to see. It's a hair mask. So, and it's a pretty, they give you a huge packet of it, so... I remember what I ordered. This I ordered because I saw it on sale. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else in here so I can throw this box on the floor. I ordered this Pat McGrath, my very first, woohoo, my very first Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This one is the Mothership Sublime. It's not new or anything, but I think her I think this palette is like sixty, fifty or sixty dollars. And this was on the fifty percent. So I think it was like twenty five or twenty seven. It was under thirty and it was like fifty percent I'm ordering it because I I hear so many good things about Pat McGrath eyeshadows, but they're honestly super pricey and you don't get that many. So I just haven't wanted to spend that kind of money. Natasha Denona is also very pricey, but you get a lot more shadows. So I usually spend my money on Natasha. But when I saw this was on sale, I was like, I have to. And I don't even know how to open it because, oh, I was like, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm not. It's just, it has a piece of plastic down there. So let me cut that off. Okay. So opens up like that. And then, oh, it has a mirror. That's a nice size mirror. Very clear. 
and it has a little protector over it and see this is two four six shades and this was like thirty dollars almost 27 i think and regularly it's like 50 or 60 for just six shadows and i i know it's probably because they're super bomb shadows i'm not saying that they're not good and they're too pricey it's just i don't want to spend that kind of money for six shadows so i'll just swatch a couple i mean i ain't gonna lie that's pigmented and pretty so I am happy that I got it. I think there were three palettes that were 20, but oh my god. Okay. I take everything back I said. It's worth it. Holy shit. Whoa. This is like me just going like that. Can I see that? Holy, holy moly. Like I don't even want to wipe that off. I just want to stare at that. And especially that one. Whoa. That's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay. So. I think that's really pretty. Um, I Like I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted by those beautiful swatches. Um, I think they had three palettes that were on sale 50% off. I know there was the like pinkish looking palette. Which I really wanted because uh, it's like pink and purple on the outside cover. And I think the other one was more neutral looking than this one. But they were all, actually all three of them were sold out the first day I saw the sale. And I was super sad because I had missed it. I didn't know those were in the sale. And then a few days later, for some reason, this one restocked. But the other ones were still sold out. Because I would have bought all three. Because like I said, I have been wanting to try the brand. But, you know, I didn't want to pay that kind of money. So I would have definitely bought them for 50% off. But... I don't know if this sells over or not, but I am going to check, especially after seeing this pigmentation. I'm going to check to see if the other one's restocked. Um, so, yeah. Let me know if you guys um, have tried any of her palettes and what you think. I know this is her smaller one. I know she has some that have bigger shadows and they're even more expensive. Um, but I've heard mixed reviews. I've actually heard a few people say that it's um, overrated. But looking at that, I don't think so. Like... I mean, yeah, it's expensive, but, I mean, that was amazing. So, I got that. And then this was in my box. This, I think, I had chose for the 100-point reward, maybe. This says Tart Stingsing. This is, I think, a lip balm. It doesn't say, and now I don't... Oh, yeah. It's something lippy. I'm going to have to go and look it up before I put this on my lips and it's like an eye primer or something. Stingsing. It doesn't have a box, but I know I chose this as my reward. I think it has to be a lip balm or a lip oil or something. So, um, that's what I got. Oh, it literally says it on my Sephora receipt. It says Tarte Stingsing Lip Plumper Serum. So... That's kind of interesting. I forgot to put my little... I don't know if I mentioned it, but the, the shadow came with a little clear protector. But the names are actually on here, so I will keep that. Yeah, because they're not printed on the back, so it just has, like, the ingredients. Actually, they're on here, and it tells you each ingredient, but it doesn't tell you which color is which. So I'll hold on to that. And... <laughs> gonna use this for a second i am hot guys hot and i actually have the fan on today but it's not doing anything for me um so this is another package that i had already opened but i figured since i was filming this and i just like because i saw who it was from and i got excited so this is a pr package from urban decay and this is what's inside um, it looks like this. It says perversion on there. And they sent over their perversion volumizing mascara. Which is one of my favorites. Um, I think this was my first or second favorite before I even knew about Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I was only using the Urban Decay perversion like I loved it. And then I haven't used it in a while because I've been hooked lately on 
Lancome Montier Big and Too Faced Better Than Sex is obviously a holy grail. But this is always, you, you know, like a holy grail of mine too. So whenever I'm at the store, if I see it on sale, I will always pick this one up. Apparently now they have it in waterproof, which I'm going to give it a try. But I'm not a fan lately of waterproof. I don't know why. Um, I used to only like waterproof. But then I started using the Better Than Sex Waterproof, and it's soft, honestly. I like the original. Like, I was so used to the original. When they came out with the waterproof, I'm like, oh, I'm going back to the original. So I'm going to try this. Um, maybe this one will make me fall in love with waterproof again. Because I do have watery eyes because I, have, I wear contacts. So I used to prefer waterproof. Um, so if I can find a waterproof that I love again... I'm not opposed to it, so I'll give that a try. That's new. Um, and then the Perversion, they sent over our waterproof eye pen. Got an upgrade, it says, just the tip of it. So they sent that. So these two are newer. This is new. This, I guess, is revamped, the tip of the eye pencil. And, yeah, so that's what Urban Decay sent over. Thank you, Urban Decay. Um, I will try that. I'm hot, guys. I'm hot. Um, oh, exciting, exciting, exciting. So, one of my friends that I have known for a very long time through Instagram, her name is Brittany. Her username is Betty B Beauty Box. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. And she started her own makeup brand called Be Marcel Beauty, I think it's called. She, um, her first product is an eyeshadow palette. And that's the business card, Be Marcel. Let me get this to focus for you guys. Be Marcel. And her first thing is an eyeshadow palette. Look how cute her mailer is. Like, it's super cute. It's like a padded envelope. And if you guys know her and you know who I'm talking about, you know these kisses is totally her. Like, her beauty room, she has kisses everywhere. Like, she's obsessed with, like, the kiss print. Um, any girly girl is, I think. But she especially... Um, so I think this is so her and she loves pink. So this is pretty. She has like two more, um, designs too. So I'm happy she sent me this one because I like this one the most. The back has a little sticker that says thank you. And I purchased this because she's my girl and I had to support her when I saw the eyeshadow palette and how pretty it was. I was like, yes, definitely. So, um, she's coming out with lashes and... A lip product I saw her do a teaser on also so she this is already padded and then she actually has this on here too so she did really good with the shipping and I'm so excited. this is the outside and it's um it's in the sleeve and it has be Marcel beauty and it's called the dream palette and on the back has the ingredients. This looks just like it. And it's like a glossy cover. And the ingredients. <gasps> so pretty. It's even prettier in person. So pretty. So, you get 12 eyeshadows. And this was $25, if I didn't say already. So, the top row, actually, it's like this. Like, a little L shape are all matte. And these are, like, the shimmers. And, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Actually, I don't know if that's a matte. Because I can see, like, really, really fine shimmer in it. So, I'm not sure. Um, and she said on her page, or on the beauty page, one of those, holy cow. Um, that these golden eyeshadows at the bottom can obviously be used as highlighters wow wow 
Okay, Brittany, I see you trying to give Pat McGrath a run for her money. Like, seriously. This shade almost looks just like the one that I just swatched from Pat McGrath. Like, seriously. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of times, like, why spend so much money when you can get shadows, this pigmented, um, from other brands for a lot cheaper. So, that's why sometimes I'm a little hesitant, um, but I don't know if it's maybe the wear time is what causes the price. Like, maybe Pat McGrath lasts all day. I don't, I don't know. I have to test it, but just on first off, that's, like, how I feel, so... I'll swatch a couple more. I always go for the shimmers if you guys haven't noticed. Whoa, look at that blue. Oh my gosh, Brittany. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Wow. I'm super impressed. You go, girl. You did your thing. This is so pretty. So happy for her. Um, so that's the eyeshadow palette. I'm excited. She's, she has lashes I saw coming soon. I think she just recently did like a picture wearing a lipstick or a lip gloss. And she said that was coming soon too. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I do get, um, PR from House of Lashes and I have purchased a few, um, collaborations with like Nicole Guerrero lashes and stuff. I have a very hard time applying lashes. I'm not a pro at it. It takes me literally like an hour to get one on. So unless I'm going somewhere that really requires it, it's not something that I wear on a daily. I would love any tips, um, any help in that field because I can use some. So I'm going to speed up because I'm looking at my camera. I'm at 31 minutes and my film time is only 42. So... The next package that I have is a package I purchased from MAC, and this is their new collection. Um, by the way, I will link Brittany's um, information below if you guys want to check her out. You guys should support her. She's a small business, just starting out. So this is what I got from MAC. It's that new Electric Wonder collection, and yes, I went crazy, and actually... This was a separate order, so I'm just going to take the item that's in here and add it. So I have these two here, and I have, I got a lot of stuff, y'all, a lot of stuff. Let me get everything out the box. All right. We're gonna move through this fast because I have one more package and I got nine minutes. So I ordered the brushes, of course, because I'm a brush junkie. So this is like one of my favorite brushes. They always have like the limited, the special edition 126 brush. Oh, they have all this tape on here. I don't have time for you tape come off so I can show them look how pretty this is that pink is so pretty and then the other side it's like the dual fiber kind so and I love that it's like flat like that like I feel like it's a good like setting powder you can press it in you can do a lot of things with this so I love this I have like three or four every time they do a special edition I don't care that it's the same brush I needed. And then this is, I think, an eyeshadow brush. This is the 234. And it's super pretty, too. So, do you guys know how many times I say super pretty? It's super pretty. Everything is super pretty. Um, This is their Electric Wonder Pressed Iridescent Powder, it says. This looks like highlighty, blushy type. I don't want to swatch it, guys. I don't want to swatch it. I don't want to mess her up. She's so pretty. But look at that shimmer. Ooh. Let's see what the other one looks like. I'll put them side by side. This one is in the shade Into Eternity, the one I just opened. And the one I'm about to open is called Serenity Seeker. Look at this packaging, though. Do you see? 
this is probably one of the prettiest collections that I've bought in a long time. This is the other one. This one's lighter than this one. You guys can see. So, my gosh, they're so pretty. I love all that, like, goldy shimmer in them. And this um, packaging, it's... Oh, look, they're different. This is like a very soft matte kind of feel on the outside. It's very nice. Those are the boxes, which I'm going to save because I am a box freaking hoarder. Especially my lemon edition boxes. So I ordered two of the lip classes. I think there was five. I, of course, went for this super gold color and a peachy color. Um, the gold one is called Nature Freak. And the peachy one is called Coral of the Wild. So, I think they're really, really pretty. And then, I got two lipsticks. Seriously, I can't get that one open. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this packaging. I am pretty sure one's like, oh, they're both looking like a nude. One's like a more rosy nude, peachy nude. So I got The Naturalist and Fillin' Sentimental. Sentimental? Is that what it says? Sedimental. So I'm just going to tell you guys, no, I'm not swatching them because they're limited edition and I usually don't. But if you guys want swatches, if you go to Trend Mood's Instagram page, I'm sure she has the swatches up. I ordered a face palette. In this case, life. Like, seriously. This is the Ignite Wonder face palette. And it's, like, full of blushes. I, I think this is, like, highlight and blushies. I don't know if that's supposed to be a bronzer, but it's a face palette, so maybe. And... I love this like whole component like I've never seen anything like this and I think it's absolutely beautiful so <clears throat> I'm gonna hurry up and move to the last package because I'm super excited to see what it is and I only have five minutes to tell you guys it's my it's from Too Faced guys so um the MAC package was obviously I purchased it this Too Faced is a PR package so let me hurry up and get her open. I could have saved some time probably if I had to open some of these packages off camera. And just have the boxes ready to go. So I got a little, hey gorgeous, we love you. And love the full transparency and honesty you show your readers. And hope you enjoy the gifts from us. Aw, XO2 face. <gasps> I was... I was wanting this. Oh my gosh. My friend at work is going to be so excited. We were just saying how we wanted to try this. Oh, I hear stuff moving around in there. So it's their damn girl. Those th lashes are thick. It's their new mascara. Um, full on weightless volume. Buildable vegan 